In this video, we're going to learn how to use OPC Data Logger to log data to a CSV file. A CSV stands for Comma Separated Value, and it's a format recognized by Excel. To start, go to File New. This opens the Project Wizard. Here we can type a name for our project. I'm just going to leave it as the default. Here we need to pick a data collector, which is where the data will come from. In our case, we're using an OPC Data Access Server. So I'll choose New Data Collector, OPC Data Access, so I'll click Next. Here I can give my collector a name, I'll just leave it as the default. Here I'm choosing where the server is. Our server is on the same computer that I'm using, so I'm just going to leave it as 127.0.01, which is always the local computer. Here I'll choose a, a uh, server, choose the top server and the collector is configured and automatically selected. Next I will add items. This opens the group wizard. Here I can give my group a name, I'll just leave it as the default. This is how I um, choose how to read the data from the server. I'm going to choose subscription based reads and I'm going to use an interval of two seconds. This means that the server will pull the device every two seconds and it will send messages to data logger whenever those items have changed. And then Data Logger will log any changes that come in from the server. I'm going to manually choose my items. I'll go to Add and Browse for Items to Add. This opens up a browse window where I can browse the server and I'll choose a couple of the items located there. As you can see these items have been added to my group and my group is created. Now I need to choose where my data will be stored to. In this case we're using a text file. Click the new data storage button. This opens the data storage wizard. We have several different ways of storing data. I'm going to choose text file. Here I can give my data store a name. I'm going to leave it as the default text file logger. On this screen we need to choose a format for our data to be stored in. Um, since this is the first time through, we don't have any presentations available, so I need to create a new presentation, which opens a presentation wizard. We recommend detail mode. Um, here I can change the name of my presentation, I'll just leave it as a default. For every item, I want to log a tag name, value, quality, and timestamp, and by having this box checked, I'll automatically add those four attributes. So for every item I'm going to log, I'm going to see these four attributes in the text file. And so that creates the presentation. It's automatically selected. Next I need to configure the file information. Um, I'm saving to a CSV, so I'm going to change the name of this. To a CSV. I'm going to choose to open the file in share mode. When, what that means is that while data logger is still logging data, we'll be able to open the file in read-only mode. So that uh, configures the storage. And since we created a storage, it's going to automatically add. This list shows all the storages that are, avail that are being logged to um, with this project. So my text file logger is listed there. And that's it. The project is configured. So now I'll save the project. And I can test that it works by clicking on Test Run. This will open a window of warnings. Uh, you can read through each warning and check the box. It basically says that you know that you're going to be saving data to a file. And now the test run is in progress, so every two seconds if the data has changed, a message is coming from the server to the data logger, and the data logger is saving that data in my text file. There should be a couple values in there by now, so I'm going to click Stop Test, and I can look at that data by opening the property window of the text file logger and clicking on this Open File button. And since it's a CSV file, Excel will automatically open and show me the data that I just recorded.